Well, they let a public school becomes only the second in the nation to hold both international baccalaureate and STEM certifications. Those programs demand rigorous academic structure. Fox 5 I teams Dana Fowl takes a look behind the scenes and this is some big news, Dana. Yeah, it's really exciting and it comes at a sort of headline time. If there is one thing that you know the pandemic underscored, it's that stable jobs in this period came from science, technology, engineering, math, the STEM careers. Well, as you said, an Atlanta public school is giving its students more than a head start by starting real world problem solving in elementary school in a newly nationally recognized STEM program. The new carpool configuration at Warren T. Jackson Elementary School in Buckhead is an example of putting STEM ideas to work in real life settings. We are engineers, can we improve? Laura Dosti is the school's STEM coordinator. Second grade did one on redesigning the carpool situation in bus lanes. And the funny part is the ideas that they came up with we actually implemented this year due to COVID protocols and needing to change our carpool. So let's cut it in half again. This Atlanta public school has a rare spot in academic circles. It holds both STEM and IB certifications, and so does DeKalb County's Midvale Elementary School. It's a heavy load, but APS principal Brent McBride, the vision and mission for Jackson, says his teachers are passionate about creating critical thinkers who can problem solve. With our STEM certification, what we're doing is we are teaching our students how to think using the components of science, technology, engineering, and math. Because when you look at jobs of the future, we have seen that those are components that employers are looking for. We also have state-of-the-art facilities. We have a maker space where the students go in and tinker and build, create prototypes. We have a collaboratory where the students know when I enter this space, I am collaborating. I am working as a team to solve problems. I'm collecting the dead fish that are swim that are floating back there. The students have hands-on involvement, learning about habitats by raising trout from eggs to juveniles in the small fry to go program. So there's a whole egg tower that stands here. And they actually supply trout for the Chattahoochee River. What about the science of it? Do you like that part? Yeah, it's really nice to see them go and how they change. And when you're raising fish or you're popping off rockets, science, math, engineering, well, it looks like a pretty fun way to make a living one day. And we were looking for ways to not only prepare our students, but challenge our students for the future. And so we were looking for how to take them to the next level. Yeah, and I got to tell you, this didn't happen overnight. This is a years long process of learning to integrate all of the core classes, the things you've got to take with the IB and STEM focus. So there's a lot going on at this elementary school, at least. Yeah, I mean, obviously so. And I can imagine this took a lot of work and a lot of planning to accomplish, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, the, uh, the, the parents were in on it from the beginning, the private sector, downtown APS headquarters, the schools, the principals, the teachers, everybody had to get on board. It is a coordinated effort. And, you know, there are two schools now in the state of Georgia that have this amazing achievement. Well, congratulations to them. I mean, it's something to be yeah. to be proud of. No doubt about that. Dana, thank you. Yeah.